Welcome back to Peaks 47. I'm going to be doing some more scratch building this evening, and I thought I'd show you how to make these five bar gates out of household products, as usual, on a budget, really cheap and really effective. So, first thing you want to do is get yourself a standard matchstick, slice it in half this way so you get two bars out of it. I've gone with about 36 mil across, which would give me a nine foot gate. Now they range from three foot to 12 foot from what I've seen and what I can read. So the width, you can go with whatever you like to suit the gap or the field or the yard or whatever you're using it for. The height is three foot seven. I've gone with 15 mil. That's close enough for me. I'm happy with that. If you want to be a bit more precise, it should be more like 14 mil. So the first thing to do is to put the cross members on, on one side. Now the first gate I built, I cut them off to the right size first, and then all I ended up doing was gluing my fingers together and having bits of matches hanging off the end of my fingertips and it didn't really work out. So with a bit of practice, I figured it was easier so leave these extra bits on that you can almost use this as a handle. Glue this bit up and drop it into place. Once it's dry, you can trim these off. Repeat it on the other side. Obviously with the cross member doing that, the opposite direction. And then finally finish with the uprights here. So as you can see, I've glued both sides now, the crossbars in the opposite direction. So now it's a case of trimming them down. So I've glued the post on. Again, I've left them whole matchsticks so it's easier to hold while you're painting them. And the way I painted this one was just a ground coat of a medium brown followed with a little bit of sleeper grime and then I've just dry brushed it with a whitey grey. And that's one five bar gate complete for pence, admittedly a bit fiddly to do but certainly a sense of achievement once they're done. So I've painted it up with some sleeper grime and this revel colour which is quite a uh, timber like colour so I've done a little bit of this a bit of a wash of this over the top and because this is going on an area of the layout where the gate's not open much um, and it's an unlooked after sort of field and I'm probably going to just have some wild cattle in there I decided to have a go at putting some moss on it just to make it look really run down I think that's going to look all right once it's dry and it loses that gloss colour. So I look forward to cutting this down and seeing what that looks like. So I'm using the same technique as the gate for this style that I'm making to go over a dry stone wall to give access from the yard into this field. I did a marathon last year. A trail marathon up in Snowdonia and I lost count on how many of these I had to climb over along the course. I'm not sure if they're entirely accurate in the 40s in the Derbyshire Dales but I quite like them. I think it gives it a different touch. Um, so I'm going to have a go at seeing how I can make this. Not sure I'm going to tackle the steps on it yet but I'll have a good go at it. 